and cheese as good tips to my kids. Hi everybody and welcome to our Cooking with Essential Oils class. This is the final class of the night. We are so grateful to all of you who have stayed with us through the whole night or if you're just coming back for this, that's totally fine. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so tonight we're going to be making a little sneak peek from our spring lookbook. Now the lookbook is not out yet. It's actually being sent to press so it will be, you can expect it within the next two weeks. Um, and we are super excited for that because it has some really cool stuff in it, some new stuff, and the stickers, which are my favorite part, look amazing. Um, so this is actually a recipe from our spring lookbook. This is, you know how we have two recipes in each lookbook. Um, this is our lemon pound cake. It's a really good spring recipe and it is delicious. I love it. It smells amazing when it's baking. Everybody was getting really hungry when we were baking this earlier. Um, so we're actually going to go through how to make the, um, the pound cake itself and then we're actually going to be making the glaze as well. So that's going to be really fun. Um, now before we get started, I just realized that I left the coconut oil in the microwave. So I'm going to run right back here and grab that for us. Um, you are going to want to microwave this coconut oil or, you know, heat it up somehow. I know some people don't like microwaves. That's fine. Um, you can use it on, you know, heat it up on the stove or whatnot, but I would recommend starting with a solid coconut oil rather than using fractionated coconut oil to cook with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So before you get started with all of this, we're going to preheat our oven to 350. Um, the nice thing about this oven is it's already at 350, so I can just click start and it'll start heating up for us. Um, so what I have is I have my pre-greased pan, and this is an 8 by 4 inch pan um, here, and it's metal. I don't know what kind of metal it is, but um, I've seen like the clay ones before, so you can use kind of whatever you want to on that. So I have that prepped and ready to go. It's already been greased. Um, I used butter. You can kind of use whatever you want to. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to, I have all of our stuff measured out. So we're actually going to start with our dry ingredients first. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take our flour. This is all for the glaze. I'm going to shift this over a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take our flour. We have one and three fourths of a cup of flour here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this into our wonderful mixing bowl. And then I'm going to add a half teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Um, now for the salt, we are using, it's called nature's first sea salt. It's a lot better for you than iodized salt. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the lid here and scoop some out. All right. And then the baking soda box is a little bit ripped. That's totally my fault. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and mix this really quick. And so just make sure it's pretty well mixed. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be mixing a lot of things um, over the course of this um, baking session, I guess. Let's call it a baking session. That sounds fun. Um, so now that we have our dry mixture, we can kind of just set it aside and then we're going to be adding all of our sugars and um, our oils and butters and all of that. So I have a cup of granulated sugar here that I'm just going to dump in here. And then the recipe calls for three room temperature eggs. Um, so I have those here. So we're going to go ahead and put those in now. See, um, I'm so sorry to whoever, I washed my hands, I promise. But I always, like without fail, end up getting eggshells in the eggs when I crack them. Like, it doesn't matter if I'm making scrambled eggs or baking something, I literally always get eggshell in here. I think it's a curse, to be honest. Um, okay, perfect. Now we're gonna crack the last one and put it in. Um, there it is. Okay, we're clean on that one. Perfect. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of butter. I'm sorry, not a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon of butter and it's not wanting to escape. Oh, the nice thing about these is they're collapsible, so we're just gonna kind of force it out here. 
Okay, there it is. All right, and then we are going to go ahead and add our, um, sorry, what is this? This is coconut oil. So this is the melted coconut oil. This is half a cup of coconut oil. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that in there as well as the vanilla. So we're gonna be doing a teaspoon of vanilla. Where did my teaspoon measurer go? Oh, it's hiding from me under the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add a teaspoon of that. And um, you can mix this by hand or you can hand, use a hand mixer um, or like if you have a Bosch or a KitchenAid, that's okay too. Um, but I'm just gonna use a hand mixer because time's of the essence here. So. Okay, and you want to make sure that you don't over mix it. Um, that is a problem that we've had before. It's my problem because I over mixed it. But um, just make sure that you just mix it for a little bit because you are going to be mixing, you know, the dry ingredients in and all of that. So um, we're also going to add a third cup of a third of a cup. Wow, of um, lemon juice. So this you can use fresh squeezed or you can be um, lazy, I guess, like me, and just use the stuff that you can grab at any grocery store um, that's pre-made, and then you don't have to juice the lemons, which is kind of, I don't know, I feel like some people find joy, like my mom loves squeezing lemons, and I just, I can't. I usually always have a paper cut, that's usually why. Um, so... I tend to injure myself. I actually cut my finger prepping for a DIY Tuesday once. Yeah, seven stitches later, that was fun. Um, so, okay, this is almost done. Sorry, we didn't puncture the lid very well, so, okay, there it is. So we're gonna add that in there. Um, and I'm just gonna mix it quickly once more. <laughs> And while this is still separated from the dry ingredients, we're actually going to add our lemon oil that also disappeared. What is happening? Well, that would be great. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's on the counter. I'll be right back. I put some down the drain because our drain was smelling really bad and I just like left it there. Okay, so we're actually going to add eight drops of lemon oil to this pound cake, five, six, seven, eight. And feel free to add more or less depending on how lemony you like the flavor. Um, and then you really don't have to mix this, but I'm going to again, just so that, you know, when you add the dry ingredients, then it'll be really well mixed. Okay, now we are going to progressively add the um, dry Solution, I guess. I don't really know. I feel like solution sounds like science. We're making science in the kitchen. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix this. Yeah, and be careful because the flour does get everywhere. I think for this, actually, we're just going to... Hmm. We're just going to accept it. That's what's going to happen. Okay, and again, this is a little bit easier if you have like a Bosch or a KitchenAid. Um, but if you don't, have no fear. There's a recipe for everyone and a way to do it, so don't worry about it. Okay, so we're going to add the rest of this. I'm going to use this spoon over here to kind of scrape the rest of this mixture off the sides of the bowl and really get it mixed in there. Eh. 
perfect. That doesn't smell super awesome while you're baking it, like in the process of making everything, but once it starts cooking, it smells amazing and it makes your house smell like heaven. Um, so once we're done with this, this is really it, you know, and then we're going to put it in this wonderful container and put it in the oven. So we're just going to scoop this all in here slowly but surely. And um, if you don't want to use the glaze, that's totally fine. You really don't have to put the glaze on it. I just feel like the glaze kind of makes it um, and really helps just solidify that lemony flavor. I'm really a fan of lemon. Um, when I can get my hands on some lemon sherbet, that's like, it's a good day. Um, and like when we have the lemon lime ice cream downstairs, the vanilla lemon lime, to die for. Um, but, I mean, and you can make your own lemon lime ice cream at home. It's actually really easy. Um, if you're wanting to do just like a half gallon, just get a half gallon of vanilla ice cream and do two drops of lemon and two drops of lime. It's really easy and after you've like melted the vanilla ice cream. Um, and then mix it together and refreeze it and you're done. And it's, you have it and it's, we're going to go ahead and say that it counts as healthy, even though it probably doesn't. Um, it's all about making yourself feel better about your decisions, right? Um, so then we're gonna go ahead, we have this in the pan here. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and make, some, make the glaze really fast. Um, I'm gonna put this under here just to catch any drips from that. The glaze is probably the easiest thing in the world. So what we have here is we have one cup of powdered sugar, and then we have two tablespoons of milk, and we're gonna do two drops of lemon oil, but I'm not gonna do that until after we've mixed the sugar and milk together. It really is the easiest thing, you guys. It, and like once, you know, if you're not explaining it like I am, I should have worn an apron. That's what I should do. On DIY Tuesdays, I should wear an apron. Oh, I feel like you just get super inspired when you cook. <laughs> Maybe I should do it more often. I feel like I come home and eat ramen. Don't tell my mom. Um, Okay, so it does take a little bit to mix just because it's not a lot of milk and it's a lot of sugar, but eventually you'll end up with a frosting kind of consistency, um, which is what you want. You want it to be more of a glaze and more of a frosting than runny. Um, and if you feel like you want to add a little bit more powdered sugar, more power to you, go ahead and do it. Um, so we're just going to try to get that as mixed as possible because the more glaze, the better, honestly. I mean, this pound cake looks amazing and I really want to eat it so I'm excited for all of you that you get to taste it in like five minutes um okay and then once I have this I'm just going to add two drops of lemon oil um actually we did this before and we added two and I didn't think it was that lemony so I just added four um so there are four drops of lemon oil in this one that we're going to have here and um seriously guys that's it the glaze is done it looks really good it smells good and yeah, it tastes great. I love it. Okay, so you guys, that's really, it's really easy. We're going to be posting this recipe on our Facebook page tomorrow, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, if you want a copy of that here, um, come talk to me, and we can definitely get that for you. Um, thank you so much for joining us for our Cooking with Essential Oils class. Um, stay tuned for our grand prize winner. That will be announced soon, um, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. See ya.